guys, what's going on? <sighs> Welcome back to another video. Hopefully this isn't your first video. And if it is, welcome in the first place you know so today we're gonna kind of go over my winter favorites and i think that's probably what i'm gonna call this video because i didn't do a january favorites and february is now almost over and so this is kind of not just makeup uh, there's a few other random products in here that I just wanted to talk to you guys about. And uh, so, yeah, it's kind of my joint favorites from the past two months slash my winter cozies, my winter favorite things. So I just kind of wanted to share this with you guys today and uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, guys. So first I want to go ahead and share with you my favorite fragrance that I've had here in the past couple months. And my all time favorite fragrance for reference is a uh, good girl by Carolina Herrera. That's like my go to when I want to feel myself, when I want to go out and feel like a bad bitch, that's what I put on. So if you like that scent, that's my favorite scent. So just for reference so you kind of know what you're working with. Um, it's actually a mini, but I bought a mini set, but it is the Replica Jazz Club scent. This is a little baby baby scent, but I've been using this nonstop. You use like none at a time. So this is gonna last me forever. And this Jazz Club scent, it is just, warm vanilla a little floral sweet like I, I'll post I'll put the notes right here right in this general area that's what the notes are. That way, a good reference for you of what the notes are. So you can kind of see if you like this or not. But Jazz Club is amazing. I love it so much. I also like uh, Beach Walk and Coffee Break. Ooh, Coffee Break is so good. I get so many compliments on Coffee Break, but I had like a sample of that. And I might like... I might buy that, but because I only have a sample of it, I don't, I haven't been using it. I just had a random sample. This I've been using and I love it. It's so good. It's just, I don't know. It's easy. It's just, you pop it on, you feel cozy. You feel warm. You feel a little sexy. Like you might if you were in a jazz club. Coincidence? I think not. Okay, so next I actually have a combo. And it's the combo that I've been wearing to keep my skin hydrated. My skin is dry. And it is so much drier because of this weather. Uh, it snowed. And we're, I'm in Missouri. And where I'm at, it snowed like eight or nine inches, somewhere in there, which is a kind of a lot for us actually, because we don't normally get that much snow. We do tend to get uh, scatterings of snow where we get two or three inches, but we tend to get a lot of ice, a lot of ice and ice is dangerous because you cannot drive on ice. You can drive in the snow, you cannot drive on ice. So we did just get quite a bit of snow, but unfortunately it was in the negatives in the daytime. We don't normally get negatives during the day. We'll get a negative three or negative two like once every winter, that's it. Most of the time it stays high teens, 
20s at night and during the day it's like 40s in the winter time 30 40 somewhere in there it was cold there was pipes bursted all over the place the plows were off in the ditches the everything was just going wrong and uh for you that maybe live in a warmer climate um, yes, you can put salt on the roads to help clear them or gr pea gravel to help clear them, but the salt doesn't work if it's under 17 degrees. So the roads were absolute shite for like three days. So I didn't go to work for two days. One day I did end up making it in. So just saying. It's been cold, long story short, and a roundabout, let's make that circle. We're coming all the way back. It's been cold, my skin is dry. I've been using these two. Um, this is my ordinary rose hip oil. You guys have saw this a dozen times. It's in almost every favorites video. I love it so much. But not only does this help with like scarring and stuff like that, it's also moisturizing because it's an oil. So I like to mix this with a moisturizer, a really heavy moisturizer. And I had a mini of this Youth to the People uh, Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream. And man, I've been, oh, I'm almost out of this. Like it's going to be an empties video here soon. My empties are getting kind of piled up. So that'll be a, that'll be a video coming up. And this is just thick and nourishing and rejuvenating and moisturizing buzzword buzzword keyword buzzword all of them it's in this and it's like doesn't really smell like anything it just kind of smells like like a thick like a night cream and that mixed with the oil so good so good i could put it on like crusty dusty spots on my face and it's just it feels so much better and you mix it with like a serum or like an essence or just something extra like a like a night spray so good so good but those two are like the basis for all those you got to really get thick cream a little bit of oil Mix it all that, just slather that on your skin. Just, and then just lay in it and let it do its job. Okay, so next, uh, I am going to actually, it is not a makeup item. It is actually my two, I bought two rings on Etsy. And I'll take off my wedding ring really quick so you get a better idea. It is these two rings here. So you have the, they both are rose gold and you have this one that has a little onyx stone. This one is the rose gold with an onyx little gem in it, little stone, very pretty, very dainty. And then this one, it has little gems and it is the, um, constellation for cancer, which is my sign. And you might have known that from all the random times. I'll just say that out loud in videos. But uh, initially, I had just bought them separate, just to wear separate. But whenever I got them, I realized that they will stack just perfectly. So I've been wearing them just like that. And then I just pop my wedding ring on. And I, because I normally don't like to wear a bunch of jewelry on my hands because it clicks together and it annoys me but these are so dainty that eventually i forget they're even there and because of that i love them very much uh i will make sure to insert a, a close-up photo of them for your viewing reference uh just very 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 pretty i love i love these rings they're so pretty uh i just it's just kind of what I wanted, something really small, something dainty, and I love the black. So that is uh, that was my next winter favorite. I got these last month, and 
so good. They did take a very long time to get here. So long. I did not realize that these were actually from Turkey. They came all the way from freaking Turkey. And I did not know that <laughs> when I ordered. I didn't think anything about it. I just popped it in my cart. And I was like, oh, I love that. I was exactly what I've been looking for. And then it took like a month, maybe more, but I think it was about right at about a month to actually get here. It sat in New York for two weeks. So I'm assuming it's because of COVID, but it's, it's, it took me, it took a long time. So next is technically one I have gotten uh, I did get it at the end of last month, but I think I got it right after it launched. It is the Auric Glow Lust in the shade Morganite. So this is luxurious. It is Samantha Ravindahl's brand. And I could not help myself. There is a special place in my heart for Samantha Ravindahl. Okay. I feel like we're very similar. You know, and she's a Pisces and I'm a Cancer. We're literally supposed to be best friends. Samantha. Hey, what's up? Um, I got this very luxe, very heavy. The cap, very firmly planted on there. And I've been using this, I've put it, been putting it underneath my makeup as like a strobe cream, or I just mix it in with my uh, foundation, pretty much whatever you want to call it. And it is the perfect shade for me. She came out with, I believe, seven shades. And it is just the right amount of shine without being super, super just blinding. I believe this is like the perfect amount of glow. And I prefer a glow over a blinding cream because then you have to cover that up with foundation and it never fails when it's super blinding. It gets little micro glitters that pop up. And this is mica based and it's just perfect. And like I said, I think she had like seven shades. I think it was seven, seven or five, one of the two. And so she had a pretty diverse range, especially for just being a liquid highlight, more or less. Uh, that's not, I mean, I use it underneath, but this is a massive amount of product. Like this is over a fluid ounce and I just use the tiniest amount there and it went so far. I've been using this every day. It is underneath my foundation today, but my foundation is looking a little old at this point. So I did powder a little bit before I came on here. So it's kind of dulled it down, but I do feel like there's still some glow showing through. So this is beautiful. Definitely the perfect way to make your skin look glowy and beautiful, even though it is a dry, barren desert land. Just so you know. Okay, so real quick, I will show you these two candles. These, you can tell I've been burning down like crazy. It is the Cinnamon Caramel Swirl and Sugar and Snickerdoodle. Now, I know these are winter scents. I know. I know they're winter scents. I doubt you can get them right now, but but these are scents that come back. Uh, this is like the second year in a row that I have bought this candle. So I do know they're reoccurring scents. So don't hurt me. Don't come for me that they're probably not available right now. Don't come for me. But I love these. They're so good. If you like a sweeter food kind of smell, Mm, it smells so good. It's like, it is sweet without being too sweet. Yeah, this one definitely has more of a, the cinnamon base is definitely there. The caramel, caramel, 
the caramel, caramel, caramel. That uh, it comes out at the end, and it's still just a little bit of a little, a little sweet aftertone there. It's a little aftertaste. And then we have the sugared snickerdoodle, and this one's so good. It smells like cookies. It smells like cookies. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love these two. They've been burning a lot. My husband loves like food smells. And so whenever I, I, I'll burn that, I'll light it. And after a few minutes, he's like, mm hmm. It smells good. And I'm like, mm hmm. Yeah, it does. You know it. You know I have that sugar snickerdoodle lit right now. You know I do. And he loves it. So, all right. So, I actually have two items which are, in fact, the same. But they are my favorite. I have the Rare Beauty Nearly Neutral Melting Blush. And looks like that. And then I have the Milani Cheek Kiss Blush, Cream Blush, in the shade Nude Kiss. They are almost identical in formula and very similar in shade. So let me show you. So just a touch different in the shade, barely. Uh, the Milani is more uh, like pink, like peachy pink, and, and that's the Milani. And then the uh, Rare Beauty is a touch more mauve. So, but the formula, very similar. <laughs> very, very similar. They both dry down to like a really natural, soft sheen. And like I said, they're almost exactly the same. So it's like a dupe and you get more product in the Milani than you do in the Rare Beauty. I mean, I use both because I just do because at this point I bought both. So when I bought this, I was so excited. I, I was in love. I loved it very, very much. I love a, green, a cream blush. And I had bought the Milani in a Ulta purchase. It came a few weeks later, a week later, whenever it came, I don't remember. It came a little later and whenever I looked at it and I swatched it, I thought to myself, these are the same. These are the same. So yeah, <laughs> this is it. pretty much the same blush, different brand different price point. So if you are looking for, if you were interested in the Rare Beauty Melting Blush, go pick up the Milani blush first and see if you like it. And maybe you just prefer a shade of the Rare Beauty blush better, but just for your reference, you might check Milani first, especially if you're looking for the nearly neutral shade. Very kind of similar vibes. Okay, so this item, I cannot bring it out here and show it to you, frankly, because it's very difficult to show it to you. Uh, and that is because it is my weighted blanket. I will insert a picture here of the one that I have. It is a 15 pound blanket and I lay it, I do not like use it when I'm sitting on my couch. I do not use it when I'm just like slap when lounging around. I use it to sleep under and I just, I lay it because it fits my queen size bed. I lay it completely flat over top of the comforter, over top of everything. And I just lay it on there and I just can like curl up. It keeps me A, warm and B, it just feels so comforting to have like that little bit of pressure on you because you just feel like you have this heavy, cozy feeling, like a hug. And because I don't like lounging in it because then I feel all weighed down and like I'm all fucking, you know, you know, 
So, but I love my weighted blanket. My husband got it for me for my, for Christmas two years ago. And this winter I have been just like, I've been using it for a year and a half. Yes. Like it, I've had it forever, but this winter has been like every night I have had my weighted blanket on my bed. <laughs> All right. Last item. It is the wet and wild tinted hydrator. This beautiful product though it is not the correct shade it is the wrong shade for me it's too dark somehow the shade light is too dark for me so i did already purchase the shade fair it is here but i just had this i already threw this in my basket of stuff and this is perfect it has a perfect amount of coverage if you enjoy light medium coverage if you love light medium coverage this is perfect it is right at that medium it is lightweight it sits on your skin and it smooths it out sometimes you get like a tinted moisturizer or a skin tint and it just kind of sits there it does literally nothing but this, it has that little bit of coverage, but it smooths out your skin so beautifully. And it's dewy, but it sets down. So it has a slight glow to it, but without it being greasy. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's, it's perfect for me. It is my perfect skin tint. I found it. I found the perfect skin tint and I'm in love with it so much. And it's just beautiful. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Like, uh, it just sits so, it, it really, I need to emphasize how smooth it makes your skin look. Um, I do not have extremely textured, extremely pore, like large pores, but I do have some like, acne texture or I do have a few like little you know spots here and there and then we all have texture right here we all have that so it's like skin is skin but it makes your skin look like freaking doll skin it just smooths it out it gives it a perfect glow perfect sheen I'm not sure about oily skin about if you have oily skin, whether or not it would work for you, but it's only $5. It's only $5. So if you like it, you can buy it for $5. Like if you think even for a second, you're like, hey, I wonder, do I want this? Pick it up, it's five bucks. If you have five bucks that you need, if you would like to spend it, if you have it, you wanna spend it, pick it up. All right, guys. That's all. That's all I got. That's that's my winter favorites right now. That's my favorites for January, February, and very likely into March because March is here. I don't know how already. <laughs> Honestly, how is it already March? Okay. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna go cuddle up in my weighted blanket. I'll be fine. Are you fine? I'm fine. But <laughs> anyway, so if you guys liked this video, please subscribe. Hit your notification bell to all. That way you're notified every single time I upload and you can be part of this little fun group we got here, a little friendship we got going on here. And uh, please like this video if you enjoy this type of video if you want more I'd really appreciate it it really helps me out and uh let me know down below what are your winter favorites what's the one thing you cannot go through winter without hit me with that information I need to know all right guys so I will catch you guys on the next one see you later